another video here today at Paul Sawyer Public Library. My name is Grace and for the next couple of weeks I'm going to be sharing a video series about fun upcycled art that you can make at home. So this week we are doing upcycled building art. So during this time I think a lot of us have a lot of boxes at home. So I'm going to show you a fun and easy way to make some cool building blocks that you can make your own towers with and your own designs with. It's super fun and super easy. So to begin, what you'll need for this project, you will need just some scrap cardboard from around the house. I already I already cut this cardboard out and kind of flattened it out so I ha would have a surface to work on. Then you will need some kind of drawing tool, paint to create and design on top of your cardboard. Oil pastels are a really good way to do this. You can also use chalk, you can use paint, crayons, whatever you have around the house will work great for this project. Um, another thing, this is an optional thing. So you can make any shape you want. Today I'm gonna to be making rainbows. So I went ahead and I just printed out a rainbow to trace, but you can just free draw any shape on there. So if you don't wanna do a rainbow or if there's another shape you like more, you can do that as well. And then, um, you also need a pencil and a ruler for a little bit of measuring here in a minute. So to get started, I'm gonna take my rainbow here and I'm gonna trace it out on the cardboard. So I'm just tracing that kind of half circle shape with the cardboard. And I'm gonna, I think I can get two out of this piece of cardboard. So I'm gonna do the other side as well. And if there's some writing or text on the box, your paint, your crayons, whatever that is, it can cover it up, it can be part of the design. So um, yeah, it's okay if there's a little bit of writing underneath. Um, another thing I would like to mention is you want a sharper pair of scissors for this. You either want either a, a help from a grown up to use a box cutter or an X-Acto knife, or you want a sharp pair of scissors. Either way, you wanna get a grown up's help to help you cut this out. So as you can see, I've traced and have two kind of half circle, it looks, looks like a watermelon shape. So I'm gonna cut those out real quick. Like I said, it's a little tough with this cardboard. Once you have your shape out, you can kind of trim it up a little bit, kind of smooth out those edges a little bit with the scissors. I'm just gonna kind of smooth this out a little. Okay, so now I have my cardboard shape, just like this. So now I'm ready to add some slits onto my cardboard shape so that I can put this together later. So what I figured was good is I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna to go to the centimeter side of my ruler and I'm gonna do two slits at the bottom on the left and right side and then I'm gonna do one on top and I'm gonna come about two inches down with it being like a centimeter wide. So about two inches down, maybe like, eh, like half an inch. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna take my ruler, come down to about two inches, then I'm gonna measure that about a centimeter or half an inch. Then I'm gonna just trace that on. So it's gonna look kind of like just a little, just a little rectangle like that. So I'm gonna do that on these two bottom corners as well. Thank you. 
Okay, so now you can see I have all those slits kind of traced in. So I have three triangles, or not triangles, rectangles. Get my shapes all mixed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. And then the next step after this will be decorating my rainbow. Just kind of want to push it down a little bit. And just pull it out like that. So there's my little slit. I'm going to do the other two real quick. able to twist that guy out and have to actually cut the top. All right, and one more. Okay, so now I have those three slits cut and I'm ready to color my rainbow. So for my rainbow design, you can use any colors if you wanna do more. I'm kinda of doing like a three color system and then kinda of just leaving this blank part here. So I'm gonna pick three colors I like and I'm just gonna make three um, arches going from biggest to smallest. If you wanna make a full rainbow, a traditional rainbow, you're more than welcome to do it that way as well. It's completely up to you. I'm kinda of doing kinda of that style of that. So I'm gonna pick my colors. I'm gonna mix it up. I think I'm gonna have a blue rainbow for my top. Blue is my favorite color. This is kind of like a turquoise. I think I'll do a green because I'm wearing a green shirt today. Then my last color, ooh, I don't know. I'll do a purple. Okay, so there is my rainbow shape. So now I'm ready to assemble. So to build, you'll need two, two stacking this way and then one on top. So what I do is I put them together like this with my rainbow sides facing out. And then I take this one and slide it down and then I take this one, I'll show you so you can see it. And I just push it down and there my rainbow stays like that. And then I'm ready to add another one on top like that to the top. So you can kind of make any kind of 3D shape that you want or design. Ah, I'm knocking it over. Put this down. You can even, you can get silly, you can make like upside down rainbow shape. So it's really up to you, whatever you wanna make. This is just a fun way to use some of that cardboard up that we may have at home right now and a fun craft to do. If you do this craft, share your pictures with us, comment in this video below or share on our youth services Facebook page here at Paul Sawyer Public Library. Um, thank you so much for joining us. I will see you next week with another upcycle craft and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.